Hello and welcome to Patio Plays Toonstruck. We are back at the cornfield. Last episode we did a lot of talking. We talked to the scarecrow here, the very fabulous one, which is actually not a scarecrow, it's a carecrow, because it cares for all the birds. And before that, we went to the costume shop, but the costume shop owner didn't want to give us anything unless we give her a new book or um, the the coupon is stamped, stamped by King Hugh because she wants to know that we didn't steal it, which, well, we did, but all right. This episode, we're going to first go to the barn. Let's go. That looks, that looks a little wacky, and let's see what those animals have to say. Well, shall we talk to the cow first? She looks like she's like she has to be milked. Hello, ladies. Psst, Drew, let me handle this. I'm a whiz with foreign languages. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Mama, be do. Hubba hubba, ring a ding ding, kalabanga. I thought Are that's you what the fox says. Speaking to us? Do you? Oh, you must want some butter. I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. None at all. Butter? No, we. You see, what? the churnitron is broken. <laughs> hey, no big deal. I know how upset you must be. Yeah, very. Without butter, life is barely worth living. All of Cutopia mourns my pure, sweet creamery butter. Now the bakery needs it. Happy day. Unhappy day. But we will soldier on, and you must as well. Courage. Okay, the thing here, the machine, butter machine is broken. I guess this part is missing right here. Say, aren't you ladies supposed to be on all fours? <gasps> of all the nerve! <gasps> oh my goodness! No, 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 that's, that's not what I meant. Really, really, it's not. It's just that in my world, uh, forget it. Uh, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, anyone with the good manners to apologize is welcome in our stable. Well, it By is way, 2016 is after Sears all. Fox. Goodness me, where are my manners? I'm Marge, and this is Polly. And this machine is my lifelong friend and partner, the Chernatron. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Yeah, right, let's... Well, my, do we... we uh, we'll, we, I guess we have so, to know. Uh, what exactly happened to the Trinitron anyway? I'm afraid it may have broken down from simple overuse. <laughs> I do so enjoy making butter. One minute it was working fine, churning away. Then all of a sudden a metal thingamabob flew off. We looked everywhere, but we couldn't find it. If only we had a way of getting that part without it. My life is meaningless. You know, Marge, meaning, purpose, all that stuff is overrated. Hell, just ask Flux here. His life is completely pointless, and he's loving every minute of it. You bet your sweet bippy. As yeah. a revered Zanian philosopher once said, those who seek meaning in their lives are... What the... Ah! He was run over by a runaway ice cream truck before completing his last work. But for all us Zanians, there is profound meaning to be found in his senseless, untimely death. I know what you're trying to do, and I thank you. You're good people. But I'm afraid for a domesticated bovine. Life is empty when you have a sack full of souring milk. Amen. Now what about that dude? Yeah. He doesn't say anything? I don't even know if he can say anything. He doesn't seem to have teeth. The horse seems a little quiet. Elmer? Yes. Elmer's special. Special? You know, it's a nice silo, but it isn't holding any grain, if you grasp my meaning. <sighs> no grain. Grain? I just figured he was a total retard. <laughs> That's Sorry, what I was going to say. Flux is special. He suffers from foot and mouth disease, if you grasp my meaning. <laughs> huh? Break Did the you ice. say the Trinitron was broken? Yes. I'm afraid the poor thing is on the fritz, and has been for quite some time. Oh, it seems like an eternity since my last milking. 
I don't mind telling you that my rosy red swollen udders are in desperate need of a good suck suck sucking from old journey here. No, Actually, I, I see. Telling me that. You see, we were a team. Together, we made the sweetest, purest butter in all of Qtopia. Without my partner in cream, all I have left are my memories. Look, I'm sure it's a real shame about Mr. Suck Suck here, but there's more to life than butter. Right, Drew? All right. I mean, you've got this quaint little barn to live in and all the hay you could ever want and, and uh, flocks. Did we mention this lovely barn? Ooh, besides, you could have a career in the beef business. A short one, of course. It's sweet of you to try to cheer us up, but butter is my life. Until the churnatron is fixed, things just won't be the same. Okay, nothing more to talk here. So long, ladies. Let's look around. Move along. Move along. Get it? That's a very bad joke. <laughs> Are they making fun of us? No. Of course not, Polly. These are our friends. Comments like that make me feel like I'm about three feet high. You are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a conscience. <laughs> we would never make fun of you. Okay, so. There's a haystack. Can we get hay? This is useless. I don't think I'll be able to find anything just digging through a haystack. No, probably the part flew off into there. Flux, go look Flux, for it. Can you search that haystack? Sure, buddy. <laughs> no luck, Drew. Just digging around isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm. Gotta get to it uh, somehow. What is this? Fertilizer? I'm not gonna stick my hand in there. Why not? Come on. Extremely strong smelling fertilizer. It's the kind of smell that makes you sit up and take notice, and then stand up and take off. Okay, if you want to be a wuss about it, then let's see what we can do. We can uh, no, no, no. take this maybe and get some fertilizer. Yes! Oh, yuck! I don't know what we can do with that. But we have it. All right, I don't want to talk to Elmer. More hay. I think it's broken. Oh, you think? Okay, let's keep moving. Let's go this way then. Oh, there's a squirrel. A nasty looking squirrel. Looks like it's been hit with the the evil making machine. Nuts. I don't think the squirrel will let me do that. I want those nuts. Come on. Flux. Get in there, buddy. Flux, go up there and ask the squirrel if you can grab his nuts. I thought you'd never <laughs> ask. Go on and grab his nuts. Oh boy. <laughs> he didn't like his nuts being grabbed. That didn't go over so well. Okay. A pepper plant. Can we reach that pepper? I can't pick that pepper while that briar patch is in the way. Hmm. May what was that? An elephant? Maybe. Oh, God. I guess this is the bad zone. Oh. Who's that? <clears throat> Big bad wolf? You doing, gents? Hello. Oh. Lovely day for a stroller, ain't it? BB Wolf at your service. It is Big B -B. Bad Wolf. Short for Big Bad. Catchy. And practical. Big Bad is a real mouthful. Another crack like that, my friend. And you'll be the mouthful. With whom do I have the treasure of speaking? I'm Drew Blank, and he's Flux Wildly. Please do eat. Meet you. Uh, that's nice. Anyway, we'd better be going. Stick around, the memento, fellas. I got a little flavor to ask you. See, 
I'm having some friends for dinner this evening, and I was hoping you might bring me a bottle of tasteful vino to accompany my rap host. Without my evening glass of wine, I get a little testes if you snatch my drift. Hey, I can feel a little testes myself when the mood takes me. Consider your drift firmly stanched, Mr. Wolf. Please call me BB. I persist. All right, BB. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for some wine. Uh, pardon me, friends, but I do believe there's been a small incommunicado. See, I'm not asking you to keep an eye out. I'm telling you to bring me some stinking wine if you want to get through these woods alive. Okay. Good. Now, I want to wish you and your friend good luck in your missionary. That's real big of you, B.B. Of course. Everything about me is big. That's funny. I was just thinking, what big eyes you've got. All the better for seeing how you ain't got my wine yet. Get going. All right, all right. <laughs> Ciao. Okay. That can't be healthy. Two cigarettes at the at the same time. All right, so we can't go this way. Let's go back to the light side. Then I guess the elephant is up here. Ha! There it is. Look, Drew. It's Zany Doo. That's where I live. Okay. Well, like let's go to Zany Doo. It's a new <laughs> Okay. Let's go! Oh. This is getting us nowhere. Well, technically speaking, we're somewhere, but I guess it's not the somewhere you had in mind. Okay. What can we put in the hand that gets us there? We need to make him run over there. Elephants are scared of mice. <laughs> it worked. Okay, let's go. Bam. Nope. Yes, the old terrifying elephant with a small road trick doesn't work with an unconscious mouse. Okay, how do we wake it up? Cheese? Uh, we have anything we can use? Oh, maybe the fertilizer that we just got. Sorry, little fella, but it's time to wake up and smell the fertilizer. Huh, it worked. All right. So, third time's the charm. Let's go to Zany Do. <laughs> Yet. Oh boy, that looks insanely not sane. Okay, we have three choices: red or blue, um, or the middle. And we're gonna think about that in the next episode. Next episode, we're gonna well explore Zany Do. So if you like this video, uh, video, like and subscribe, subscribe, blah, 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 like and subscribe, and see you next time on Patio Plays Toonstruck.